Why is it that some people are more successful than others? Why is it that some people earn more money, they have better jobs, they get promoted more rapidly, they live longer, they have better health, they have happier relationships, and yet the great mass of men and women, by their own admission, live, live lives of quiet desperation. Well, I studied this over and over again. I traveled in over 80 countries on seven continents. I have learned and spoken three, four different languages. I have spent over 30,000 hours studying, and I've come to a very simple conclusion that successful people are those who do things differently from unsuccessful people. I've also come to another conclusion is that you or anybody can be far more successful at life or at anything that you want if you will simply learn how and practice it over and over again until it becomes a habit. Now, no matter what field you're in, no matter what field of endeavor, no matter what work, no matter what activity, there is one thing that all successful people have in common is that they are good time managers. And the reason they are good time managers is because they recognize that time management is life management. It is personal management. I have never seen an example in the hundreds, thousands of biographies and autobiographies I've studied of successful men and women where the individual has not been well organized and efficient and valued and used their times well. Successful people, winners, use their time well. Losers do not. The key to time management is self discipline. Probably the best way to put it is this, is time management is self-discipline in action and self-discipline is the key to success. The most important of all, the core of time management, the axle around which the wheel of life turns is goals. What are your goals? What is it that you want to be or to have or to do? What is it that you want to accomplish in the next one, two, three, four, five years? The top three percent in every field have goals. The balance of the population have either very vague goals or no goals at all. So the question you have to ask yourself is, who am I? Where am I going? What do I want to accomplish? And there are three major areas of goals that you have to think about. The first is your personal and your family goals. These are the reasons why you're alive. What do you want to accomplish for yourself and for your family? Write them down. Define them clearly. The second set of goals that you have to ask is your business, your career, your financial, your material goals. What is it that you want to accomplish in the external world? Where do you want to make your contribution? The third type of goals you have to ask about are your self-development goals. And in my estimation, your ability and your willingness and your tenaciousness in developing yourself is the key to accomplishing everything else.